What's going on everybody? You guys ready to do a little bit of metal detecting out here with me? Haven't been out here in a couple of days actually, so I just dug up a couple signals before this. I got a bottle cap, I got a pencil eraser. <laughs> Let's see what's next. I got kind of a high squeaker right here. Where did it go? Here it is. I got the uh, MindLab Equinox 600 with me today with a little six inch coil. I finally got a new arm cuff for this bad boy, so we're kind of in good hands out here. Let's dig up this one, see what it is. On the ID, it's like a 22, 25, a little bit bouncy. Let's see what we're working with. Let's dig this one up real quick and then we'll check in with the chat, see if we got anybody in here hanging out. Welcome to the live stream. Ugh, I did forget my gloves. I was doing a little bit of work at home and I was actually using the Garrett gloves for the work, so. No gloves today, unfortunately. <laughs> Just gotta be careful. All right, first signal of the stream. Let's check it out. Kind of a nice one, nice and high. All right, <laughs> might be kind of lackluster, but uh, it's a decent start, I think. It's gonna be a dime, 1998 on that one. So I think uh, here at the start of the stream, I'm gonna at least try to maybe cherry pick a little bit at first. Um, I don't know. It's kind of my thought process today. What's up, DJ? Paul's in here. I see Mass. I think that's everybody. Nice to see you guys. Nice to see you. Hopefully you guys are doing good today. So let's maybe listen for like a high conductive real quick. See if we can uh, snipe out another high conductive. Right now, there's kind of like a sidewalk strip right here. Might just go along the sidewalk strip, see what we got to work with. Getting a little bit of like interference here. I was all good before I started it up. Hit it with the noise cancel. What's up, Andy? Good morning to you, William. Better? All right, yeah, I think there's a high one in there. It sure sounds nice and high. Have you guys been finding lots of aluminum foil uh, since Easter has hit? <laughs> Easter's always a common time. Kids like to eat those chocolate golden coins. Let's see what we got on this one. Go after a couple coins at first before we uh, Max out the pull tabs and the pencil erasers for the day. At least when you're sniping for coins, um, you know, a silver ring or something could always come out. The potential's there. What's up, Mark? Mark says, hey, Austin. What's up, Mark? There's a 1969 copper penny right there. It's got an S mint mark, which is maybe a little bit different than I'm used to seeing. What's an S? S mint mark is like San Fran, maybe? Andy said had a nice 1891 Queen Victoria silver shilling off the beach today. Nice, Andy. Very nice. All right, two coins in a row. Let's see if we can keep it up. Some plastic. I guess at some point we're gonna have to be going over, uh, we're gonna have to at least dig up a couple of those like low conductives though. I know I'm walking over the gold. Probably honestly just walking over mostly scrap aluminum right now. There's a lot of trash at this location. I think if I was gonna cherry pick any location it would probably be this one. Speaking of Easter. Here's some signs, signs of life. Oh yeah, I see Bill in here asking, any Legend users, have you um, experimented with that new update that came out for the Legend? If you guys are joining in late to the live stream, leave me a comment if you've ever experimented with that new update. Equinox 600 feels pretty sweet though, still feels pretty crisp always had like a really good recovery speed on it 
The ground is a little bit hard today, but it is just sand after all. Let's see. A little bit crispy. All right, there's another coin. William says, trying to learn my simplex light. Wish you luck, William. How have you been liking it so far? There's another dime, that one's 1972. Three coins, baby, come on. Let's get on some coins now. <laughs> get my hopes up, get my hopes up. No trash yet on the live stream. Let's see if we can continue on with that, hey? At least for a couple minutes until we get like, like that one's probably trash, but it sounds like a pretty good solid like mid signal. Dig up a couple of these, I guess. They always reel me in. DJ says I always use park one, park two, he digs too much junk. Sure, we'll dig a 12. Let's see what a 12 is. Pencil eraser, pull tab. Something towards the top. It's like in the root. All right, yep. Look at that beautiful sign right there. Wow. <laughs> I might stay away from some of those mid-conductives today. Dig too many, I'm going to be uh, full of pencils, definitely. Pouch full of pencils. DJ says the beast mode. Paul says still trying to figure out the beast mode, not liking it so far. I think I saw one video of it and then maybe it was from Paystreak. There's a 20, let's go for a 20. At this point in time, I think I'm just cherry picking kind of anything 20 and higher. The tone's got to sound like a little bit small and sweet. Let's just go after some coins today. I feel like I never really do that, you know? I'm always kind of digging it all. And don't worry, I will continue. But for today, right? Cherry picking's kind of nice. Try to snipe out some silver of some type, huh? Coin. Dan says I like the beast mode so far. Nice to see you, Dan. Mark says whole pencil. What's up, Todd? He says, I heard the deep mode works well with the new update for the legend. What's going on, Ethan? Have you missed anything? You missed like two dimes, <laughs> which ain't much, I guess, right? You ain't missed too much yet. 16, just cherry pick a little bit. One, pretty likely some foil. 14, 13. There's just so much crap in this ground. Where's that nice silver ring sound, you know? That nice high ringer that we just can't ignore. There's a, there's a basketball court over here. There's one. What do you guys think? Continue with cherry picking? You guys ever go out there and just cherry pick or are you guys usually uh, kind of a dig it all crowd? Kind of curious of everyone's digging style, you know? Some of you, oh, there's my coin right there, may not even metal detect. What's up, Ben? Ben Tay says, I have the Xterra Pro. How you liking the Xterra? There's another dime, 1988. Not too bad, we're on the dimes today. Jimmy says, I've been using beast mode for a few outings, some deeper targets, but still testing. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Kind of test it out, give it a chance before you make any assumptions on it. What's up, Brian? Nice to see you, dude. Ain't been out in a couple days, to be honest with you, so it does feel nice to be out and about again. Uh, in the couple days I was out, I was doing a few things, one of which was I've been kind of looking at like small solar for a while not really like replace your entire electricity with solar but i ordered my first little uh, 100 watt like solar kit and i built almost like a small like little tool shed too so i kind of got my solar hooked up in there and it's been kind of fun honestly 
It's relatively simple. I didn't know solar was actually so simple. Hey, we took the risk on a mid-conductive. Check it out. A nickel. <laughs> what are the odds? A nickel in a field of pull tabs in Kanslaw. Glenno says, start out digging it all, cherry pick after too much trash. All right, we'll start digging out some more. Kind of give you guys an idea of what's possibly under the ground. Could be a gold ring in here, man. There could certainly be. What's up, Vicky? Says, I was cherry picking yesterday due to the cold air. David Fraser's in here, nice to see you. What's up, Tara? Tara's hanging out in here. All right, let's go. Another 12, 13 right there. Uh, maybe back to back nickel? Let me see. This one's like right next to the other 12, 13 I just pulled out. Yes, sir. You know, nickels, I like seeing a nickel out of the hole. They're not that special. They're not worth that much, but a nickel's kind of a nice sign. 1976. Gopher says, my friend's parents have a single $500 panel at the cottage and it keeps all our phones charged. That's what's up, Gopher. Yeah, like I have right now just one 100 watt panel and I have like a couple old uh, 12 volt, just sealed lead acid batteries, just the old school ones that I actually pulled out of my old like electric bike. So uh, I'm putting those babies to use. Right now I'm able to run a TV and a Nintendo Switch back there, a small uh, 22 inch TV. So solar's kind of cool. I feel like once you start to get into higher loads though, like AC units and uh, you know, like stove top burners and stuff like that, you definitely need a lot more juice. But for the time being, like Gopher said, when you're just trying to keep your uh, phone charged up or to run like a little fan, it's kind of cool. It's like I said, it's actually pretty simple. You need your solar panel. You need like a little controller, which is kind of like your charge controller. And then you need some batteries. And then also you need potentially uh, like an inverter to switch that 12 volt to like 120 volt. But I don't know, I, I've kind of been curious about it for a while, but I didn't realize it was so simple. We're up in those high tones now. Where's it at? Sounded like it was on top. Todd says, I'm digging everything till I learn my machine better. That's a great way to learn your machine, honestly. Pretty good way to learn your machine. Dig it up. Try to decipher what your machine is trying to tell you. Something up in here, coin. We got that chocolate brown penny. <laughs> Chocolate Brown, 1981. Digging up New York, what's up man? He says, I love the VDI on the Equinox 600 and the Vanquish. I like the VDI scale too. I was considering maybe getting like an Equinox 700 and selling this 600, but I like my 600, I don't know. Might just stick with the 600. Trevor's asking, how am I liking the smaller coil on the Knox? Um, depending on your environment, but if you're in like a very like trashy location like this spot, I give it a thumbs up. I would be extremely struggling, I feel like, if I had a regular size coil through here. A lot of junk. It's probably some big iron, huh? Do I want to go for that one? Let's see if we got anything else. kind of the tone I'm looking for I guess short and sweet and repeatable I'm not necessarily looking completely at the target ID I'm kind of just listening for a tone let's see what we've got nice sunny day down here in Florida though it's got me motivated to do some digging freaking dimes for days apparently 
Dan says it's the batteries that get you in the system. Most important part in the converter. Nice tip, Dan. Brian says, Brian, I actually have a different phone with me today. I'm on, um, I'm at that school today. Where is it across from? I'm trying to like give you the location without like blowing up the whole location. <laughs> There's two schools, it's a middle school and an elementary school right next to each other, and it's on that road that I was talking about. I don't know, that's kind of vague. <laughs> My car is parked right out front though, you'll be able to tell where I am, like if you head over this way. I wish I had my other phone on me, I'd send you a text real quick. What's going on, David? Says hello from Deep South. Deep South, Texas. It's an 18, let's try it. There's a lot of signals to work with through here. Um, seems like that there's a decent amount of coins, so I can assume there's maybe something else to be found out here. I was hunting this spot in the field. It's been weeks now, but I did find like a small gold ring out in this area. So, with the amount of signals out here, the chance could be there, I guess. <laughs> the chance could also be there for a lot, a lot of junk. ACB says ring spot. I'm hoping. I wonder how close I should get. Like, can stuff actually pass through that fence? I'm always kind of curious about that. You know, like basketball courts and stuff. I guess. Somebody could drop something in there. What's that? Piece to a zipper pole. <laughs> I guess go for another 18. Dig up a couple of them, I guess. I got a lot of energy, so... Let's just dig for a minute. Oh yeah, I know anytime I get near these fences though, yep. I start to find a bunch of this and it always reads up kind of differently. It's like that fence wire, I think, aluminum fence wire maybe. It's a little bit tough to get through. Let's keep looking. I got my recovery speed highest that it can go, which is three on the Equinox 600. Sensitivity, if you're wondering, I'm just running 20. <laughs> Listen to some of this stuff, holy smokes. It's close enough to the top. Is it gonna be another piece of wire? Why yes, yes it is, it's a circular piece. Alrighty then. <laughs> What's up, New York? Digging up New York's in here. Todd saying, dig it all. Yeah. Eleven, twelve. let's go for that one. Oh, it's right on top. It's a tail, a beaver tail. I'm definitely in some trash, so. Skip up the 18 for now, maybe. Hmm, maybe I should find a new spot. This place is absolutely trash right here. Solid 13, let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. Give it an attempt. Is it in this clump? I got something in a coin ball, boys and girls. Vicky's asking, has anyone else been finding an awful lot of foil wrappers on the playground since Easter? I actually, I don't think I've been on a playground since Easter, but I can almost bet if I'm on a playground, yes. <laughs> the amount of foil will be astronomical. I found a kinder egg already out here. Here's the remnants of some more candy. Go for all hail the beaver tail. What's up, Lotus? Lotus bricks hanging out in here. 
What is that? Something gold in color. Maybe the piece to the end of a drawstring or something. I spotted that gold shimmer on the sand there. I couldn't deny it. All right, let's just meander through here for a second. There's an entrance to the uh, basketball court. <laughs> I think I'm gonna hop locations actually. What am I saying? There's a sweet one. Wait. Is it actually iron? It's hitting a high tone one way, iron the other way. The Equinox is somewhat infamous for giving you signals like that. Could it be a piece of iron? Could it be a coin hiding? Find out on the next episode. <laughs> they used to do that on like old cartoons. I guess they still do that in modern like TV series. Right when I'm about to dig it out. All right, find out what we've got on the next episode of Treasure Outdoors. Tune in next week. Is it a penny? Is it a pull tab? I'm not that cruel. I'll give it to you guys. <laughs> Another dime, dude. Dime's coming out for weeks. Date ain't too significant on that one, 1990. Alrighty then. I guess my hope is like maybe we can snipe out a silver ring if we just keep digging out the high conductive signals. With the high conductives, it's either more likely a coin, I feel. Whereas like the low conductive signals, you're kind of more shooting blind, I feel. In a modern environment, I feel like there's a lot more junk that comes in at the low numbers. But I guess it could depend where you're hunting. Because I found earlier on a high tone, there's, there's a coin. I found earlier one of those twist top bottle caps and those give you kind of a high ringer like a coin. There's a nickel. This one's for you, Petro. What's up, Petro? <laughs> nice to see you. 1976 nickel. Nickels and dimes coming out. Not too shabby, not too shabby. What do you guys think? Just give me your opinion of hunting around this area. Is this a good area to check out? Would you guys check this area out right here? Kind of the sidelines to the basketball court. It's another high one. It's kind of bouncing up to 30 here. A little bit unique of an ID. Or wait, I just pulled my plug right there. Okay, so the nickel must have been at that one. It's like a 25 to 29 next to it. You got like a little secondary plug on them. Yeah. Just give us some rain. I feel like sometimes even though in our soil, we like will get a heavy rain. And I guess is the word hydrophobic? Like sometimes you'll get a heavy rain and then you'll go outside and try to dig a plug and literally half an inch under the ground is still bone dry. Where has that 13 inches of water gone? <laughs> sometimes I wonder who's been guzzling that up. Yeah. Okay. I'm completely and utterly off. There it is, all right. We got a quarter. There might be something else in there too. 1965, come on. I remember getting into metal detecting. I would always be so like disappointed by those 1965s. I was so close to Silva. <laughs> One year off. I guess it's kind of true, but if you think about it, no one keeps a 1965 quarter. Everyone, for the most part, will put a 1965 back into circulation. Wait, let's swing back over to see if we got another one. Whereas, you know, a 1964 is very likely going to get plucked out of circulation and never to be seen again. So, 
I don't know, I feel like 1965, even though it's one year off of the silver, I feel like it's not that close to silver. But I guess it also kind of depends where you're hunting. All right. A quarter brings up our grand total. Vicky says, I think you'll get pole tabs and trash there, Austin. I have lousy luck in the dirt of parks, generally speaking. Yeah, I don't have the best, best luck either. It takes a lot of effort. At least if I can pluck out some coins though, you know? Then the day hasn't been completely wasted away on pull tabs. <laughs> but at least when you're metal detecting, like realistically, unless you actually have priorities that you need to be doing, metal detecting is never a waste of time, even if you're finding junk. You're out in the sunshine. You're possibly learning your metal detector, you know, getting some exercise, using your brain a little bit. Good hobby overall, I feel. Another coin right there. DJ says, best spot is on a soccer field where the goals are. That's always a coin spill. Another dime? I'll take dimes over zinc pennies at least. 1977. Dimes add up relatively quickly, I suppose. So I think at this point in time, we found more coins than trash. So not too bad, not too bad. Gopher says, I didn't think the word was hydrophobic, but according to my two second Google search, it indeed is. <laughs> Vicky says these detectors are so good they find everything all day long. Yeah, literally, they, they find some small stuff. Let's take the risk on this one. Eh, 18. Let's give it a shot. Pick and choose our battles a little bit today because this area is very trashy, so... Sometimes I think if you just continue to dig it all in like an extremely trashy area, it's like basically you're relying on solely luck, I think. Speaking out my rear. I hate these 18s. <laughs> Debbie says, I've never found anything worthwhile by basketball, volleyball, or tennis courts. Do you find much at all over there, or is it seemingly pretty clean by the time you get over there? Because sometimes, depending where you live, too, those areas may have already been kind of searched thoroughly. But, to be honest, I think I've only ever found maybe one gold ring by a basketball court. I found, like, some silver jewelry and stuff, too, but... I guess for the most part, mostly coins and stuff by basketball courts, earrings. I've never found like a huge gold chain or anything by the courts. What's up, Tinfoil? Tinfoil says, there you are, where have you been? This one's for you, Tinfoil, there's a pull tab. I've been just doing a couple things here and there. You missed a couple of the things I was talking about earlier, but. Trying to stay a little bit productive in real life too. I've been neglecting like my garden and stuff at home and just a few things at home. So I just needed like a couple of days to just kind of recoup, you know? Like I mentioned in here earlier, I finally tried out solar for the first time. So I ordered a little solar kit and I built like a little battery box put together kind of like a little tool shed type thing. Ooh. It's getting a little bit toasty out here. Just a little bit toasty. Listen for a high one real quick. 20. Is that high enough for you, Mr. Krabs? Is it gonna be a zinc penny or a piece of, there it is. Another coin. Let's at least suck this little area dry of its coins and potential high signals. We could come back through here um, with a second swing if we feel like digging out some more of those uh, low ones. 
I just don't know if anything really goes on over here. Like, are they losing coins from the basketball court or does something else happen like in this little area? I'm not super familiar with this place. Twelve. Just give it a shot. You got a couple more signals. This one's probably pencil eraser on a twelve. Why, yes, sir. Yes, sir, it is. Oh, yeah. Petro says, I found a gold chain. Ooh, I miss Petro. Petro says something. I found a gold chain by a basketball court once, but mostly coins. Hey, you just never know. I think it is. It's kind of luck of the draw, you know? And also, has a metal detector user been there before you? All right, let's probably check out a different area here, huh? Check it out a little bit more. Any more high conductives through here? Honking silver rings, potentially. 14. Don't think I found a pull tab yet. There's one. High ringer. And some sugar sand too, nice and easy. Another Roosevelt dime. Come on, give me some silver. 1978 on that one. They're not super modern, but I don't think this ground is super old. The ground itself, yeah, it's old, but <laughs> you know, the inhabitants of the area. Some plastic. Top of some chapstick or something. It's kind of a solid 13. See you later, Brian. Are you heading down here or are you coming back to the chat? Either way, I should be here for a while, so. Uh, Debbie says we do the playgrounds first. We find self tapping screws, fish hooks, and vapes. <laughs> yeah, that, that's honestly not a bad idea, though. You know, worst case scenario when you're metal detecting a playground, if you don't find anything, you're at least cleaning up the playground for the little kids, you know? So it's good to have a mindset like that when you're metal detecting. I'm starting to leak already. <laughs> Is this a nickel? Okay, there's actually kind of a lot of nickels like spread out through this little area. Maybe I should be digging up some more of those low ones. Another nickel. What's up, Mystic? Ain't seen Mystic here in a little while. All right, let's go for another plug that maybe we'll go for a nose blow afterwards. I'm getting clogged up already. I can feel it. I can hear it. 12. I feel like 90% of the 1112s at this area will be freaking pencil eraser. But 1112 is kind of like a good number for a gold ring. So you have to decide, what do you do? <laughs> do you skip up all 11 and 12 because they've told you many times before they're likely a pencil eraser? Or do you, you know, continue on and keep on trucking? I never know. Ooh. Squeaker! Wait a second. Listen to that bad boy. Is it bigger? Uh, I think it's bigger. Had me excited for a second. We'll dig it out, but I don't think it's going to be too hot. It sounds big. Come on. Is it a piece of aluminum can? Wait, I see something right there. What the heck is that? Brother, I think I found a flashlight. I found the light. I found the light. Does it work? Do you see the light? <laughs> Man, that thing's beautiful. Gonna have to start our restoration process. Our restoration process. Battery still looking prime. Got some nice battery acid on there. Alrighty. Seal that baby up. 
Tinfoil says, Austin, you said you were going to the beach for us again. Yeah, I want to get down to the beach. I've been saying that for a while. Just got to make my way down there. Yeah, I need to get my booty down to the beach, man. I need beach training again, though. Like, I used to be able to do, like, six or eight hour days on a sunny, dry sand beach. I feel like I'm going to need to kind of work my way back into the beach. The beach is gnarly. All right, I have found a flashlight. That's a pencil eraser, guaranteed, dude. Listen to the tone, it sounds small too. 99.9% .9 a juicy pencil eraser right here. Come on. Am I lying? Am I telling the truth? Why did you even dig it up? <laughs> DJ sees the light. Alrighty then. Let's keep going. Alright, I'll start digging the solid 13s too. Like if they're hitting on a 12, 13, I'll give it a shot. You gotta keep an open mind to those low conductive ones. That one that you're sure, like, that usually happens to me. I'll dig out that 11, 12 that I just dug out. I'll be like, this is 99.9% .9 a pencil eraser and then something good will actually come out on that signal. That's usually how it happens for me. No! <laughs> But then you go for the 12 13s and you still end up with one. What's up, Incognito? How have you been, man? Hopefully, you've been doing good. Incognito in the building. Is that actually. Maybe it is my setup interfering with the Equinox. Listen. Oh, now it's not happening. When my camera, listen, when I get close to the Equinox. Oh, now it's not happening. <laughs> All right, keep digging. Keep digging. I've always kind of been curious of that. Does your uh, live streaming setup or your phone data interfere with your metal detector at all? What's up, James? <laughs> Todd says the old Milwaukee. Let's go for an 18. Maybe we'll walk out of this area, try a different little different area here. This one's probably fence wire. Yep. Sure is. Alright, let's get out of this trash, see if we can get onto another trashy area. See what else we've got. I'm only stopping for something sweet and high right now until we get to the new area. Just a lot of the same signals out here, you know? 15, 16, 14, 11, 12. A lot of them are pretty much the same thing, like little pieces of slaw and stuff. Could be something hidden out here. Let's walk a bit. What's up, this dude says, found my first mus musket ball in Massachusetts with my Garrett Ace Apex. Nice. Yeah, I'm definitely swinging blase. I totally realize it. I'm trying to move up my way to a different area here. Just listen how much crap though. Pull tab on top. This place is freaking trashed. Maybe a two for one in here. <laughs> when I start getting into this many signals really, like you have to kind of decide what you want to do. You want to just pack your bags up and just leave the spot? <laughs> 
you want to just start digging them out, you know, not think so much into it? Or do you want to cherry pick? Go for those different signals. Really? Incognito says, digging those 9 to 14s all day long. I should probably dig more of them today. Just this area has kind of like, I thought that was a ring right there. It's a bottle cap. This area has kind of got me down before, you know, digging those low conductives. But all it takes is one. It just takes one. Just move maybe a little further out here. <laughs> move away from the uh, trash pit, the cesspool of garbage. Is this also a cesspool of garbaggio? Dig out a couple of them. What's up, Florida Knox? Dalton's in the building. Nice to see you, dude. I got the Equinox out here today. The 600 with the little uh, six inch coil on it. Haven't really found much significant things today, but <laughs> got a pouch full of dimes. Man, it's kind of impressive when you're off on your signal, when you have that small of a coil. <laughs> impressive in its own right. It's probably a good idea to just slow down though, you know? Just slow down, relax, take it easy. What do we got? This is like a 19, probably a zinc. A stinking zinc? What's going on, Wayne? Uh, Gopher says we will, oh, I need rain. Yeah, we do need a little bit of rain. It's a zinc, stinking zinc. What's up, boat? Says mass, the wind here in Florida brings all kinds of things to my yard. <laughs> all right, let's keep going. Keep on swinging it. I'm in a freaking pit of trash, man. See if we can just snipe out a coin or something through here. 18. I just see the remnants of pencils just like spewed out here. The guts of pencils are just everywhere. One of you little buggers had to have something worth it, right? 12 again. That ain't gonna be our coin, that's for sure. It almost sounded denser than a pencil eraser. <laughs> I think that's it. Cans law. Okay. I'm gonna take a walk. See if we can escape this chapstick or something. 14. I'm overwhelmed. Dude, there's pencils everywhere. Get me out of this place. Get me out of here. I'm just gonna blow right on by the bleachers, I think. Oh man, look at that. Beautiful. You guys want some? Oh, I'm just trying to take a minute to kind of catch my breath here. The sun, it has come out here in Florida. I don't think it's even technically summer yet, right? Is it summer yet? It's getting a little bit toasty. Oh, what's that? Yes, we've done it. 
I thought for sure that was going to be a Zinkin. Look at this. Look how beautiful this is. Oh, yes. That's just what I was after. The crusted Dollar Tree best friends pendant. Nice. We can go home happy. <laughs> yeah, it's some junk. Some junk jewelry. First piece of jewelry on the day, though. Yo, Toby! It says gold bullion. <laughs> Appreciate you, Toby. That one's for you, dude. The half of a best friend's heart. All right, first signs of life. Next to the little uh, water fountain here, too. I like it. 14. Dude, there's just so many signals. Sometimes I can handle it, and sometimes I'm just like, what, what do I do? Where do I go? Which one do I dig up? It's about just staying calm, stay calm and collected, as cool as a cucumber, even if all you're finding is fence wire. Tinfoil says, next time Austin ignores us, let's cancel our subscriptions for a week and boycott. <laughs> Eh, it's okay. It's totally okay. That's like kind of a big reason though why I don't have a schedule. It's just, I don't know, sometimes stuff comes up and you just, you need a little bit of real life time, you know what I mean? I mean metal detecting is real life, but you know what I mean. I'm crazy digging this one up. Take a risk on the 1415. The pull tabs of my dream right here. The all elusive rare tab. I'm butchering this baby plug. There it is. We've done it. Pull tab. What is James saying? James says, finally ran into another detectorist the other day. He said I was in his spot, so I stepped over three foot and said, how about here? <laughs> What's up, Lex? Lex in the building. Trying to catch up with your chat real quick. All right, I think we're good. We're good. What's up, Gregory? Let's keep going. Hey, real quick, you guys, though, I am going to uh, blow my nose real quick, so... I'll try to maybe put you down. Should I put you down or just blow right into the mic? We'll give you guys some scenery. Can we do it? How do I take this thing off? I always forget. Give you guys a little bit of visual scenery here. Blow up my location. Give you a face reveal. Do it all in one. All right, I'm not going anywhere. Mute your... Uh... Mute your audio if you don't want me to blow my nose into the microphone. Did I forget? Oh, no. I think I forgot my freaking things, dude. No. No. I forgot my paper towel. <laughs> All right, well, looks like we're going to be dripping. Brian, do you have any paper towels or napkins with you? <laughs> Hopefully he came to the right location. All right, I'm sorry. Apologies. Let's get back into it. I don't know if Brian's going to be able to handle this trash pit over here. Tim Foil says, my darn cat in and out. Make up your mind. Be nice to your cat. Let that liquid flow. Eskimo blow. I This stuff is just like, this ain't no just free flowing stuff right here. I try an Eskimo blow, it's gonna wrap around me and tie me up like a Spider-Man web. This ain't no Eskimo blowable. This stuff is gnarly. 18. Listen for the high ones. Oh, yeah, Brian's here. I see that lime green. 
that lime green supreme. <laughs> DJ's asking when are you going to do a pull tab necklace giveaway? Very shortly, very shortly. I just need a reset, I feel. <sighs> Probably ain't good to be sucking it back up, huh? Look what we found! Piece of a Pokemon! I don't know what it is. This ain't no Eskimo blow stuff right here. If anybody wants to trade me, I'll make you guys a trade. Bring me some paper towels. I got a 12 pack of number two pencils for you. Maybe Brian will save the day. Maybe he has some napkins or paper towel. Oh, Wayne, oh no. Blow your hands, blow into your hands and wipe them in the grass. That one sounds kind of good, 23. Come on, give me something sweet. 23 is a little bit lower than like a dime. What the heck is that? Is that what I think it is? <laughs> is that a freaking grommet? Is that really a grommet? Alrighty then. Thought I might have had something sweet there for a second. Thirteen. All right, this area over here, I'm starting to get close to like the field area. I feel like, believe it or not, like the field area has probably produced the most at this location when it comes to just coins and jewelry. So I guess, you know, kind of stick to the strengths of an area. Go to where it has uh, treated you the best. There's another nickel right there. Dimes and nickels. But I don't. I think he sees me over here. That one is a 1960 something, 1968. Perfect. Dan says, who uses pencils? Well, probably the children, I would only assume. Not 100% sure though. All right, let's just calm down, start digging up some signals again. I'm definitely skipping up a couple, but I don't know. Maybe I am just today in slightly more of like a cherry picking mood. Listening for anything crisp, anything sweet. Now, if we're out in this field, though, like this small coil probably wouldn't be my first choice because signals start to get a little bit more sparse out here, I feel. There's one right there. Gopher says I use mechanical pencils. Yeah. It's a high conductive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a coin right there. You guys okay with coins or you want me to start risking it? Oh, there's a, that's a 1959. Is that one actually a wheat penny or is that still too new? Let me see. No, it's not even a wheat penny at 1959. When do the wheats begin? Like 1958 or 1957? We got a 1959! <laughs> Brian's over there digging on the side of the hill. That's pretty good. 1959 Chenny. 
Yeah, I feel like wheat scent has to be really close to that, right? Like maybe 58 or 57. The 1959. I'm gonna start digging up some more of the odd ones now. I feel like there are some areas where there's just a lot more like can slaw and junk and you're you're kind of fighting a losing battle <laughs> when you're digging up everything in an area like that. You can always get lucky. But uh yeah. Oh my goodness. The old sleeve wipe, I guess. That's really all we got to work with. But I own. Yeah. I think Brian's got the legend today. What did I just pull out of that? There's another 1213 in there. I totally forget what I just pulled out of here. Come on out, little guy. Yeah. 12, 13, I can only imagine what it could be. I can only imagine. <laughs> Pencil. Yeah, Incognito. Incognito's got kind of the right mindset too. It says, unless you clear the treasure trash, you don't get to the treasure. <laughs> There's maybe specific cases where you can kind of cherry pick around the trash, but for the stuff that I'm looking for, especially like the gold, you know, the gold is pretty much impossible to cherry pick, especially in an area like this. Gold just ranges all over the place. It's kind of a tough one to cherry pick, you know? Whoa, almost just gave you guys the face reveal there. Not a huge problem. a 1920. I think I'm going to try to pace myself a little bit just so we can extend the hunt, you know? If I go super, super quick, I feel like I kind of burn myself out a little bit quicker. But if you just pace yourself, you can probably dig out a couple more signals at the end of the day, you know? What's up, Cajun? How's it going, Larry? Oh yeah, tinfoil, that's kind of a good tip. He says he suggests getting a frisbee so you can kind of put your plugs back in there better. So I guess if I had a frisbee, I could put it on top of here and like tamp it down a little better. Brian's digging on the edge of the court over there. There's an old Milwaukee probably. So it's a high conductive signal, but that doesn't always mean it's gonna be a coin or something good. I can kind of tell by the tone, it sounds a little bit bigger. I don't know, this one might be the old Milwaukee. This one's for you, Todd. But every once in a while, a big sounding signal can be good too, you know? It could be a treasure chest, <laughs> doubtful. Could be like a bangle bracelet or something. Uh, Gregory's asking, are you using auto ground balancing? That's actually a good question. I don't think I am. With my Equinox in my Florida, like sand, with most of my metal detectors, I'm honestly guilty of kind of not even ground balancing, but I feel like it's because my soil is incredibly neutral here. So usually I don't really have to ground balance, but you know, I feel like it kind of depends too on your conditions. All right, not quite the old Milwaukee, <laughs> but I own. We got the bush, okay. 
Here's a soda can. Dan says I need a green pull tab. <laughs> What's up, dogwood? Pop that one back in there, Nash. Maybe Brian will give us a chance with the legend for a minute. But I own. What's up, buddy? Oh, he, no, you got the legend. You just found something? Is that a sprinkler head? I don't know what that is. <laughs> Dang. That's some scrap right there. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it was a sprinkler head. <laughs> so, I have no idea. No, I don't it, think it so. It broke off though. So, yeah. And I didn't break it. No, I know you didn't. I know you didn't. <laughs> it looks like a, like almost a whole, like a huge See if anybody fire can, hose nozzle or something. Can anyone identify that big boy? <laughs> looks like it has a, had a plastic fitting in there. But yeah, it hasn't been used, definitely. Thank you very much. I was wondering if you heard that. <laughs> he came in to save. <laughs> Bro, this place is crazy. Yeah, it's interesting. Found anything out there? This is the field that I found that small gold ring and like the fake gold chain. It was right out in this area. And I haven't hunted this this field too, too much. I feel like we should hit this area hard. Yeah. The whole football field. Yeah, because like this area, I've tried it a couple times. There's just so much trash. Like, <laughs> I should have probably brought a bigger coil for this field, but hey, you're right. Well, you you know, bro. You might <laughs> Maybe. Appreciate it, dude. Thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. Have fun with the news, bro. <laughs> yeah. All right, everyone. You know what time it is. See you later, Incog. Have a good day, Incog. Toby says, if you had an upside-down nose, you'd blow your hat off. <laughs> All right, I'm going in. Please mute your audio. Give you a second. Problem with this place is the pencil erasers. <laughs> they're tough. Yeah, they, they're like a right? yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of coins though too. Toby says. 20, 24. The only way I would dig that, but it's probably a pencil eraser You give it a try though. Like, I think that that gold ring was actually sounding similar, if I remember. I forgot exactly what it was ringing, but... Yeah. It was a small gold ring? Yeah, it was a little guy. <laughs> Give it a shot. Alright. Oh, wait, did I? No, okay. I thought I took that piece from you. All right, let's see what we got with the little six inch coil in the big field. Yeah, like that's part of the, uh, like they open this school up technically. There's a sign out there that says on weekends, only on weekends though, they open up this area as like a park. So the park rules apply. It's kind of weird. I've never had. Yeah, I've never had an issue, so. <laughs> yeah, obviously, like you said, fill the holes in to the best of your ability so they can't even tell we've been here, you know? This stuff is a little bit dry, though. Yeah. Dry as a bone. No way, is that the root? Oh no, it's wire, I think. Yep. John says, just in time for the big blow. <laughs> That's what the stream has become, huh? I don't even want the metal detecting anymore. Only show up for the blow. Wire. Pencil eraser or wire? Like, I wonder, how does the wire even get this far out here? I don't know. Yeah, all right, so out in this field, we're more inclined to dig up the low ones, I feel. There's like still some of the can slaw, but I feel like not as much out here. Will it be a pencil eraser? 
Oh, I did just find a 1959 penny, though. It's not quite a wheat scent, I guess. I'm not sure. Like a dime, yeah. Yep. Yeah, I did. I pulled the 1965 quarter, too. The infamous. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Those. I pulled so many of those 1965s that... They don't excite me that much anymore. <laughs> Something small, eh? <laughs> yeah, Liam asks, what's your biggest fear when it comes to metal detecting? Mine is digging up an explosive. Huh. I don't know. I guess I've always considered maybe slightly like the thought of digging a ring up with a finger still on the ring or something, you know? Like the bone still with the ring. Yeah, that would be a little bit creepy. Do I have my legend with me today? That's the question I've got. Huh? A nickel? That's pretty good. What's up, Suzanne? Vicky says, my biggest fear is missing something good. <laughs> yeah, and then like your digging partner coming up right behind you. <laughs> that would be a fear. Digging it out after you just discriminated it. A 14. It's kind of pull tab esque, I guess. Let's see what we've got. What is this? Oh, I found a shotgun head stamp. That's weird. We got a Western uh, made in the USA Super number 12. I don't know how old of a stamp that is, but that's kind of weird to find out in the football field, huh? Shotgun head stamp. Yeah. It looked kind of like an older one. You never know. Yeah. Uh, maybe? I think the newer ones... It looks old. Maybe slightly. Somebody probably has a date on it. The Super X. Western number 12 Super X. Weird. Probably Google it Yeah. <laughs> Could have been the old hunting ground out here. Tinfoil's asking, Brian, how are you? He's just asking how you are. Hi, I'm doing good. I haven't been out for a while either. So yeah. I've been busy working. Yeah. It's good to get out though. Yeah. Sometimes I feel like it's good to take a little bit of a break too. And then it's like, it's refreshing again to me sometimes, you know? Yeah. I mean, but you haven't been metal detecting too long either, right? Oh, okay, okay. You just yeah. recently got the legend I just then. Got the legend. Okay. You know, I, I, was, I had this Garrett for a couple years. Okay. Yeah, that's what's up. <laughs> this is so different than the Garrett. It is, yeah, the legend. It's a whole new process, right? Yeah. Wire. I, I got a dime right here. Hey. Dime just in dime. Is that or a can? Because I've noticed 46 is a big can sometimes. Sometimes, yeah. You'll be able to tell too, like, the tone like once you dig up so many of those you'll be able to tell the difference just in the sound of it kind of yeah yeah yep it'll yeah, it sound that big. It'll probably it's a dime. probably a dime yep todd says i always feel guilty passing on a target debbie says uh explosive and fingers never crossed my mind in my in arizona i worry about rattlesnakes <laughs> I feel like for the most part, I don't know. How common, common really are like explosives under the ground? 
What? Oh, did you? Yeah. Okay. Actually, my wife found it. She it down. Like, hey, that's, that's yeah, that's what's up. That's a good eye, though. Good eye, you know. <laughs> yeah, I tried to give you like a little bit of a hint without like, you know, but I, it wasn't that good of a hint, though. I don't think. <laughs> that's what's up. Yeah, I've hunted this spot like not too too much, but I'm not gonna come out here without you, though. it's this cool. Spot, I mean, it's like it is what it is. There's so much stuff, you know. Like even in that other field we've hunted, I feel like we're kind of feeling like it's somewhat hunted out. But I can guarantee you, if we go out there and spend some more time in it, there will be more stuff, you know. <laughs> yeah, or there's I can guarantee there's spots that we have missed. Like some days I'll go out there and I'll find almost nothing and then some days I'll go out and find, you know, a couple pieces of jewelry, so. Yeah, you gotta swing over the right spot, you gotta make sure you decide to dig, you know, whatever the signal may be. I even hear like some people argue that like when the ground is diff, yeah. Yeah, I've heard, yeah, so I guess you never know. All right, a lot of wire. Tinfoil says use your one inch coil. I wouldn't be surprised. The company will probably come out with one that small. The one inch round coil. Lintang says it's midnight here in Indonesia and I cannot stop watching your video. <laughs> nice to see you. That's cool though, like I like, I don't know. I just like content creation because it kind of like brings people together too almost. Don't matter where you live, what you're doing, what your line of work is, we can all... A penny, bro. A penny? Yeah, 26 was a penny. <laughs> Maybe it was, was it a copper though? Yeah, it's copper. Okay. Never know. Well, that's, that's pretty old, all right. Let's get a silver out of this spot, hey? Good. Good. I need a slightly bigger coil. There's an 1819. Maybe a coin spill. Yeah, last time I was out here, some lady and their dog came out and the dog wasn't on a leash. I saw that live out here. Yeah, that was me. I was over like in a different area out here. Yeah. Found something blue. I think it's a button snap button maybe it's some junk let's find some jewelry no jewelry yet we've been live 73 minutes or wait no we did get that half a pendant did you catch that one the crusty crusty half of a pendant <laughs> eleven yeah, like th this spot, it doesn't have that gnarly dirt where it turns them like black crust, yeah, kind of. Yeah, the yeah, they are. This one's an 11. So far, so far yep. All right. You know what else is a good, a good thing about this stuff? What? Yeah, that, I checked one time in front of there, but if you want to check it like more thoroughly, check it out. Well, I'm just saying, cause that's really old because you know, we don't see any baseball stuff out here anymore. Yeah, that's true, yeah. So that, essentially, this could be really old. Could be. Oh, no. It's a piece of metal of some variety. <laughs> Alrighty then. Yeah, just something a little different, you know. I want to hit the playground. I had like, I have metal detected. There's a playground. That place, like, I've metal detected it once, like two years ago when the gate was open one time. And I, every time I've come back, the gate has never been open. But I, yeah, that's the best playground I have like ever been in. Usually playgrounds for me, they haven't been so hot lately. 
three, four. Three, four, is it aluminum foil right on top of the ground? Oh, it's wire. Tiny piece of copper wire. And Mark's asking gloves. I was putting up, I left my gloves at home. I'm guilty this time. Yeah, I put up like a little, um, like a cheap fence. What are they called? Like a welded wire fence. So I was trying to section off a little area in the backyard. DJ says, making a puff pastry croissant in the oven. That sounds pretty good. Hey, what's up, Tammy? Says, watching you has helped get a good start with my legend. Nice, Tammy. 12. Is it going to be another pencil eraser? Yes, it is. <laughs> another pencil? Yep. Tinfoil says, Brian has quite an interesting American accent. Where is he from? From right here. From right here. Born in Tampa. Born in Tampa, Florida. <laughs> Yeah, I forget. Some people say that I have, like, they thought I was Canadian for some reason. <laughs> I don't know where that comes from, but okay. You never know. Your background. <laughs> Bill says, how's the Equinox on Canadian coinage? I haven't really experimented much on Canadian coins. I don't know if I found any Canadians with the old Equinox. Kind of a high one. Sounds strange. Yeah. Might be a little bit deeper. I think is deeper. Yeah. Kind of deep for a little six inch. What do we have way down in yonder? Coin. Give me a weedy. Old? No, 1979. Oh. <laughs> the thing was deep for a 79. Yeah. Suzanne says, got a vanquish. Now I want a legend. Uh, you caught the metal detector bug, did you? <laughs> got to be careful with that. Yeah, they're both good machines, though, just in different ways, you know? Like, they'll probably find just about the same stuff in most environments, but then, I don't know. What's up, T28? Says, when I go out digging in the dirt, after a while, I realize I'm talking to myself, like Austin. <laughs> Turn on the GoPro, then you're not talking to yourself, you're talking to others. You don't even have to upload it. Got something sweet? Yeah, Penny? Strange, yeah. yeah. Was it a, is it more of a modern one, or a... And, yeah. It's an eight nine. But it's like all Crusty. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, crusted like zinc. It looks like up. yeah. <laughs> the infamous crusted zinc. <laughs> Here's my eight piece of just slaw, I guess. There's a lot of those little ace bandage clip things too out here. Yeah. 
Seemingly not too many pull tabs though. Every area I think has their benefits. <laughs> What's up South Africa? There's something sweet in there? High 50s. Quartar. 11.12, right on top. Hmm. Could it be a pencil eraser? <laughs> no, it's not. Wow. Piece of foil. Crumpled up foil. Gopher says he found two bandage clips today. You find anything good today, Gopher? Any jewelry? Jewelry? Maybe. Like barely even light at all? Yeah. You think I just need to charge it? Or like, cause I, if I take the cap off, it's like... It's yeah, loud. some people like, I actually with my MI4, it's not a good idea to do because it doesn't um, waterproof it, but I actually drilled some holes in the top of my other one. Let me see if it's the same volume. I'm not even hitting on it. Maybe it's a little bit deeper still. I don't know, mine ain't hitting on it, so it maybe you have lot. a flat on the shovel but it's not yeah maybe you have a slightly higher sensitivity even yeah like yours is hitting it but mine isn't hitting like right it there. yeah so mine's just barely hitting it so either you have like a slightly higher sensitivity or i don't know interesting, interesting. <laughs> yeah, I, just, I just noticed that i can't hear it as well sometimes yeah maybe the speaker might like i don't know I might just charge it up. Yeah, see if it works, huh? I know one tip somebody told me, I couldn't figure out like how to tell how charged it was, but if you look at the light, I don't know if you already knew that, when you turn on your pinpointer, it will blink your light. Okay. And I think if it blinks once, then it's almost dead. If it blinks twice, then it's like halfway charged, and oh, if it blinks, yeah, so did mine. So mine's almost dead too. Oh. So it probably needs a charge. That makes sense. Yeah. But it wouldn't. What's up, KC? Oh, it says K I have gas. Gear accusation syndrome. <laughs> A quarter. Yeah, I'm guilty of that too, KC. I had a bad case of gas last year. Gear accusation syndrome. 1981 quarter. 25 cents. Yeah. 19. Yeah, that's why you just never know about like a signal, you know? There could be, there's so many reasons why it reads up differently. Just never know. We got at least a decent breeze out here today. I'm thankful for. It's a coin right there, I think. Tinfoil says, everyone, please hit the thumbs up. I appreciate you, Tinfoil. Tinfoil is asking, when is Brian starting his channel? <laughs> Have you had any, like, thoughts at all? Or you're just, you like metal detecting? Yeah, I mean, it depends like how serious you want to start. I started with the GoPro 7, which is kind of like an older model. And I feel like quality wise, it's still, you know, it does good. You could probably pick one up used, but it just, it kind of depends because it's, it just depends how you want to do it too. Because when you have a camera, it's like another, it's another step to the process. But there's no, you don't have to talk while you're doing it, you know, you could just strap a camera on, press record, and then, you know, if you find something good, produce a video, or... That's true, right? Yeah, it would be mostly like how you want to do it, I think. That's 
Yeah, some people they will only just do it on their phones too. Yeah, like you could start with your phone. I got a decent phone now, so I probably could just do it. You on probably phone. could, yeah. What's up, Blinky? Yeah, I mean you could give it a shot and like I said, it's like it can be for people, but some people just don't like it, you know. Some people don't like the extra step. Yeah. But I'm also not as talkative as you, so I yeah. don't think people don't like that. But <laughs> I think they will because everyone likes something different. And like when I first made my first YouTube video though, I didn't talk. I didn't say a word in it. I was just I went to a park, I strapped up just like I was saying and yeah. I uploaded my video, you know. It might have only gotten like ten views or something, but yeah. <laughs> The longer you are, like, the longer you have a camera, the more it just feels part of, you know, it kind of comes a little bit naturally over time. But you still have to realize that you got a camera and there is, like, I feel like for entertainment's sake, you got to have a little bit of something, you know. But yeah. some people, like I said, some people just want to see the hunt. And even if you weren't talking, there's probably people out there who... I can guarantee you there's people that think I talk way too much, even myself, you know, sometimes when I walk my, watch my video back, I'm like, man, I, I could definitely calm down a bit. But then there's the opposite too, so. Because I feel like maybe it might depend too, like, in my case where I'm not on old crazy locations, I think my ability to be able to commentate helps because I'm not finding crazy stuff all the time you know I'm not finding a gold ring or a Roman coin or old silver so it's kind of like part of the hunt for me I feel yeah, yeah. just kind of blabbing and BSing <laughs> while I'm you know metal detecting there's a nickel a deep nickel on that one nice. what's up and Eden Ho Eden Ho if I were to make a channel I'd probably just start just making just videos at first yeah I don't know if I'd be a live stream yeah, know. yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a little bit weird, yeah. <laughs> you never know what can happen on the live streams. That's what makes it a little bit nervous, you know. Yeah. I feel like the metal detecting community is, at least for the most part, pretty cool. But you never know. There's going to be that one oddball where you'd have to worry about something like that. Like, if I pointed my camera at the wrong thing, oh, if yeah, some I'm weirdo's sure. watching, yeah, like, then you might have to be concerned, but... <laughs> Yeah. Because <laughs> I might have been a weirdo. <laughs> no, but you're cool. You're the lucky one that didn't, you know, you didn't come out here and murder me or start <laughs> screaming obscenities to get me banned or something, you know? Yeah. Blinky says Hollywood is missing out. The Oster, Oscar goes to Austin. Yeah, right, Blinky. Mass says chat has stalled, so I'll say hello, everybody. Nice to see you again, Mass. Let's just dig. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's about finding that healthy medium between talking and actually digging stuff up. Tin foil. 15, 16. Screamer. Another penny. Nice. I got my first ring pull of the day. All right. Pull tab. Perfect. Look at that beauty! <laughs> what the heck even is that? Little hair thing or yeah, something? <laughs> Crusty! I guess I'll take it. <laughs> Trying to pawn it off on me, are ya? I wonder even like in that area if anything's happened over there. I've never checked that area. I'm gonna stick to here for now, but... This area's at least got some like different spots that can be expanded, you know? A couple little areas we could check out. Let's get us some jewelry.
pencil eraser. T28 says, I like how you tell what your settings are, what the target is reading, and also the BS. <laughs> Appreciate you, T28. What's up, Dominoid? Uh, Casey's asking, have I tried Pastryx mod to your MI6? What is that? The drilling in the holes? The drilling of said holes in the top? I'm going to try right by the goalpost. Yeah, check that out. I checked over up by that one, and I think I found a small piece of jewelry over there. Yeah? Yeah. Check it out. Right. Check her out. Dominoid says, boy, you had everyone wondering. Nice to see you, dude. A solid 13. Could it be true? The gold ring we've been looking for. I've been kind of sleeping on my Equinox lately. I feel like the Equinox, it's still very relevant, you know? With new metal detectors coming out. It's fun to kind of jump on the bandwagon and get a new metal detector, but my Equinox works just good, I feel, you know, just fine. There's a nickel right there. I can guarantee you there's still dudes out there using their Equinox, absolutely spanking stuff out, you know? It ain't always about getting the latest and greatest. It's about getting out off your couch and into the dirt. I've always said that though, like, I do really feel like the guy with the bounty hunter metal detector, if he's out there metal detecting every day and looking for new locations, he's probably going to find more than the guy with the Deus 2 that gets out, you know, once a week kind of casually. So metal detecting, it's not always about your equipment, it's about your ability to get out there and, you know, get digging, get on some new locations too. Casey says, yes, it's awesome. Just order another cap and use one for water and one for dirt. Blinky's asking, do I like the smaller coil? It's kind of a hit or miss with the small coil. I like it until I get out into like an area where there's not a lot of signals. But right now I'm, I'm liking it. I like the little six inch coil. Usually makes the signals come out really quickly after you've swung over them, you know? What is that little thing? <laughs> Whoops, it's like a little paintbrush or a little makeup brush or something. Interesting. Terry says Austin is the Larry the Cable Guy of metal detecting. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that one. Is that a compliment or an insult? I don't know, and luckily I don't care that much. <laughs> Fourteen. Fourteen. What's that little thing? Little hook thing. I don't know. Weird piece of metal. Some junk. Got a dime? Yeah. That's what's up. <laughs> you just need a nickel, right? Or you already got a nickel? I got a nickel, yeah, I got the cycle. Got the cycle already. Okay. Where's the jewelry? Is there any out here? Or is it all just junk? There we go, there's a nice high one. 29. Pretty close to the top. Come on out of there. There we go. Pretty easy on that one. It's a quarter. It's a uh, Washington, the Evergreen State. Little state quarter action there, 25 cents. Quick and easy on the quarter, you know. I like when you can like get over a target and recover it quickly. 
I feel like that's kind of essential too for metal detecting. You know, we'll just pull that baby out kind of quick. Quarter. What's up, David Frazier? Appreciate you, Todd. His positive attitude, integrity, and persistence. What's up, John? John Badrali. Probably butchered that. Sorry, John. <laughs> Let's dig out a one. Let's take a risk on a one. Is it foil? I'm pretty sure it is. Why'd I get down on it? I regret my decision. All right, I lied. I'm sorry, Mikey. I don't think you're here to witness that. I'm not digging that one up. Yeah, for this field, I almost wish I had the elliptical coil, though. Something kind of junky. Close to the top. Oh, looky there. There's our first signs of life. <laughs> it's an earring back. I see rust on it, though, so I don't think it's even silver. Usually those things are at least 925, the little earring backings. No, it's junk. It's got some rust on it. Uh, Scott says, should do a speed round, 30 minutes live. How many holes possible in 30 minutes? That's kind of a good idea, Scott. I did that a long time ago with a regular video, but a live stream, that would probably be fun. Like a speed live, huh? Old Milwaukee. Saving that for one of you guys that come out here. <clears throat> Just kind of meandering today. Meandering through the field slowly but surely with the little six inch coil. Seeing if maybe we can snipe something out. Some silver, maybe some gold, maybe even some platinum. I still don't think I found platinum actually. I've been metal detecting for uh, some years now and I think platinum is still something that's eluded me. Any of you guys out there ever found platinum? How about very high carat gold? What about like 22 carat gold? I found 18 karat gold before, but uh, 22 karat still eludes me. Pencil eraser. <laughs> Beach Hunter says the satisfying sound of the Equinox 600. I still do like the tones a lot on the Equinox. I guess until you get into like a patch of iron. <laughs> Then the Equinox can be a little bit strange. I'm running multi one out here. Maybe I should go to multi frequency two. Maybe even a single frequency. Multi one's working though. Good tone. I like the high tones too on the Equinox. Really sweet. Yeah. It's a coin, another dime. I just, I kind of like finding some different stuff though too, like coins. Yeah, they add up, but how interesting is a modern dime? <laughs> how many times can you guys see a modern dime and be like, nice. What a beautiful find, treasure. Oh man, a 1976 modern dime? Beautiful. <laughs> it's just part of the hunt though, you know, that's kind of, that's part of realistic metal detecting is 
even if I was on a crazy location, I would still have to find some subpar stuff before the good stuff comes out. I know that my chances would be better if I was at a older location, but... Give it a shot. I like sometimes proving that like those kind of undesirable s spots too can be productive. The overlooked spots, you know, by many. It's like if you spend enough time out in some of these spots, you'd be surprised. You can actually find some decent stuff. That surely ain't it. Just gotta keep trucking, you know? We ain't found it yet. John Sand Multi 3 loses depth. What's up, Rick? From Scotland. From Scotland. What's up, Rick? That was the worst Scotland accent probably in the existence of uh, attempts. What even is a Scottish? Scottish? Scottish accent? Fourteen, fifteen. Pull tabs, best friend. No way. Freaking pencil eraser. They must be made differently too. Like even not all pencil erasers are made the same. Kind of cruel. actually kind of cruel getting a little bit toasty out here kind of increase our swing speed equinox has good enough recovery speed i mean if you're trying to go like eight inches deep you probably want to slow your uh swing speed down but these new machines they got the processing power they can handle a quick swing. Also with a quick swing though, you just have to be able to process these signals too. So sometimes with a fast swing, you know, if you're not very alert, then you can definitely just skip by some signals. Be oblivious to them. down in the hole. What is this? Have we found what we've been looking for? Ah, uh, no. <laughs> oh, Blinky says that's the rare pencil eraser. I'm gonna put that one up online. Auction that baby off. The rare and elusive pencil eraser. All right, Ooh. let's keep on trucking. Trying to listen for like some solid ones, you know? I don't know, it sounds kind of small again. A little bit like a pencil eraser. What do you guys think on this one? Are you getting bored of pencil erasers? I'm battling with these bad boys. I'm trying to defeat them, but they're fighting. They're fighting hard. Come on out of there. It's up in here. What? I ain't even a pencil eraser. It's like a little fuse or something. 
It's a 1.6 volt, either, or is it a resistor maybe? Something off of electronics. Nothing too hot, man, nothing too hot. <laughs> yeah, the beach is probably where I need to be, to be honest with you. I mean, I still, I hold out hope for areas like this, you know. But this area has potential kind of all year round, whereas the beaches, I feel like, you know, different parts of the year are kind of more prime for beaches. So this time of the year is definitely prime for beaches. Probably save these kind of hunts for like, you know, when the beaches start to slow down a little bit. The grass will always be loaded, but the beach, you're kind of... I don't know, you're a little bit on a time restriction, you know? I mean, but with, with the way that the uh, waves and stuff move too, even during the winter when not many people are using the beach, just like the wave movement and whatnot. Junk, dude, come on with the junk. Ree! <laughs> Yeah, different times of the year even at the beach though, like I said, with different wave movement and, you know, wind and whatnot. Some stuff can definitely get exposed that's been there for a while. Here on the west coast of Florida, we don't really have the best sand movement. It moves for sure, but, you know, we don't have those crazy waves like the California coast or like the east coast of Florida. It's a little bit more casual over here. Something tiny, a six. Where is it? Sounds very small. Six sounds a little bit different though. No, that's not it. <sighs> Something small. All right. More junk, man. More junk. I'm trying to get through this junk. It's tough today. John says the grub worms. Austin, ask again. Please say hello to my digging partner, Justin. What's up, Justin? What's going on, Justin? Oh, yeah. Mark's also saying very sad day when Tesoro decided to shut down. I gotta bring out my old Tesoro again. Do you guys wanna see that? Any of you guys out there have any interest in like those older metal detectors? I feel like they're kind of fun to use, you know? Show people that the old dogs, they still work. Right on top there, it's a freaking pencil eraser. <laughs> Wonder if Brian's had any luck over there, if he's got nothing but pencil erasers too. <laughs> Gotta stay optimistic, that's part of the hunt. Twelve thirteen here. Nice. Been pulling out actually a lot of nickels out here today. Another nickel. A lot of mid-conductive signals. My corn pouch, corn pouch, my corn pouch is slowly increasing. My coin pouch is filling up decently. Got a lot of dimes today. Not too many modern pennies. Higher one next to this one. Yeah, the sun is starting to reveal itself though. Here soon I'm gonna have to tag along like a sweat rag and definitely a uh, camel back with me for some water. This is dehydration weather. This'll definitely get ya. Woo, take a breather. 
just relax for a moment. I think this one's just a little bit deeper down in there. What do you guys think? Is it deeper? Debbie says, okay, so don't laugh. I use a 15 year old Walmart $50 detector and I find tons of stuff. <laughs> That's not a laughable matter. I mean, how we say if the machine you're working is working for you, then keep on working it. That's not actually what I say, but that sounds actually pretty good. If the machine you got is working for you, then keep on working it, girl. Keep on working it. It's a dime, 1982. What's up, Selvin? This is good to see you again. It's been over a month since I last joined your live. Nice to see you, Selvin. Probably been about a week since my last live stream. Doing a couple things at home. A couple of bits and a couple of bobs. We're back out in the field though. This is my element for sure. Yeah, I agree with you, good as gold. Uh, nickels are good, gateway to the 14 karat gold ring. I always feel like I'm kind of on the right track, at least if I'm pulling a lot of nickels, you know? Whew. Could that be another? Is my camera down too much now? I think I just adjusted my camera wrong. Is that better? I don't know. One small adjustment to your camera and it throws off everything. No. No. It's a half of a pull tab. Why'd you do it to me? Why? All right. Um, Gopher says nickel. The metal sounds horrible on the Deus One, huh? What's going on, Talca? Talc is in the building. Why, Timmy? Why, little Timmy? Little Timmy boy, why did you throw your pull tab on the ground? I'm telling your mother. Nope. I'm actually kind of getting overwhelmed now. Let's see what else we got down in here. It is fun though. Like to me, it's still kind of the mystery under every hole, you know? Like even though once you've used a metal detector for a while, you can kind of familiarize yourself with the target IDs. It's still a mystery. Even if you think it's gonna be a coin under there, you can always be surprised, you know? Just gotta keep optimistic. That's like the number one thing, I think. Stay optimistic, man. Persistence is important too. It's a coin, 1980s. So now that we've been digging everything, I know that our trash count has definitely uh, risen quite a bit. <laughs> Coin counts went down a little bit. This one's for you. 
James says, summer needs to get here quick. Our parks are pretty dry. Yeah, our ground is honestly kind of dry too. Is that it? That's it. Oh, actually, oh, that's actually kind of cool. That was right on top of the surface there. Look at that, that's like a little pin. That's actually kind of cool, man. It's got like a little eagle or something on it. Can you guys see through the camera? Let me see if I got my loop. Man, on the surface? That's too easy. Let's see if you guys can see it any better. Woo, I'm getting dehydrated. <laughs> Thing's kind of cool. Look at that little guy. I guess it's just like a little pin, maybe like a little hat pin or something. It's got the little eagle on there though. The back is definitely like those pin backing style, right? Fold it over. I have found something absolutely wonderful. A little pin thing. <laughs> the eagle button. Not quite the eagle button, I guess the eagle hat pin. Who's that? Who do I see in here? Is that Julie? <laughs> What's up, Julie? Yeah, you missed pretty much the entire stream, but that's okay. That's pretty common theme for you, Julie. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You know my live streams are spontaneous. Pull tab. We'll catch you later, Todd. See you later, dude. This is Enjoy the Live today. Hope you find the gold. Appreciate it, Todd. Thanks for the well wishes, man. I will see you again soon. What the heck is that? Maybe that's part of like one of those old like bracelet things. You remember those bracelets? Man, that's gonna slice me in half though. Snap bracelet thing maybe? starting to leak again. I got a leak in the hose. Got to get a replacement soon. I'm trying to listen for the honking gold ring, but I don't know what it sounds like. <laughs> Does it sound like an 11? Does it sound identical to a pencil eraser? That's what I want to know. Yeah. Yeah, I really need to get out there and probably make a couple shorter videos for some of you guys too. Oh, what's that? Piece of a beaver tail, nice. <laughs> you, Julie, you know that's more important. That's okay though. Now you have a little clean pupper. You got a nicely groomed little dog. Slap him on, says Selvin. Slap him on. Oh, Larry says uh, army pin maybe. That's kind of cool. I'm going in real quick. Give you guys a fair warning. Oh, no mess. I want to go check out the playground, but it's locked. Why do you always lock the playground at this place?
DJ says, Austin, did you ever found a nice golden item on a live stream? Yeah, actually, a couple times now, I think. I found small gold with my Simplex Light, which was a small gold pendant on a live stream. Um, I found, actually, I think I found a gold chain and a gold pendant on a live stream not too long ago with the XP ORX. And then I think I was maybe out here with the Xterra Pro and I found a small gold ring. The problem is too with the live streams is like when I actually eventually find something good, it might be an hour or two hours into the live stream. So for a lot of people, a lot of people probably don't even get to see that stuff. So I've done it in the past. Maybe sometimes if I find like something significant on the live stream, I'll try to chop the live stream down and make it into a regular video. But I don't know, kind of tough. Fifteen. Kind of close to the top on this one. Piece of shredded up can. I wonder if Brian's found anything good. Uh-oh, Paul. I hit a shallow live wire once in a backyard. That's not good. Once you've been metal detecting for a little while, I feel like wires even, they kind of give off a unique signal. Sometimes once you get around a wire, your machine will get a little bit of like EMI or interference. Let's go check out Brian, see if he's got anything. It is Sunday too. I'm sure you guys got some plans out there today, right? You guys don't want to be stuck inside all day watching this pull tab and penny fest. Actually, it's a pencil eraser and what else? Pencil eraser and dime extravaganza today. <laughs> pencil eraser party welcome to the pencil eraser party coin 1969 <laughs> 1969 Whew. push it to the limit the limit Walk along the razor's edge. Dig the pull tabs till you can get it. Pencil racers can't stop you. Gotta find a golden ring to tug in it. Get it. <laughs> the heat stroke is uh, starting to creep in. Walk along the razor's edge. Pull. Dude, don't tell me. That's actually a rare one. Got something sweet. This one is a... Yeah, there's a lot of trash over here too. This is kind of a unique one. I don't know if I've ever seen a pull tab like that. It's a pull tab, but it's still got like the tongue on it. Hmm. No. <laughs> Something unique, at the very least. I just stuck like an eight inch hole for a dime from 88. Oh wow, that's a weird one. The pull tab still got the thing. I got like one decent thing. That's it. <laughs> I think it's like a pin maybe, right? Yeah, that's kind of cool. That's kind of right? on it. Yeah. The most significant find it of might the day. Be cold. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, I showed it off. I don't know what people said about it. I don't know. Decent, I guess. I thought it was like a piece of just metal at first. Yeah, I just dug like an 8 inch deep dime from 88. From 1988? <laughs> not that far deep. I don't want to know. But that's just crazy. Yeah. 
hot out here. <laughs> it is. Something right on top, right there. Yeah. <laughs> what is that? It's a zipper pole. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Man, it sounded sweet. Go over by those trees because it's shady. You could try. I know that like. You ever tried over there? I haven't tried over there. Just, I mean, for you it'll be easier because you're quieter. But like, that's people's backyard right there, you know. You so. That tree? I actually, last time I did, that's Pensley Racer Extravaganza, really? but I didn't do a like thorough job. You could try that one. Huh. Even like under that thing, I haven't tried whatever that thing is. Like that far tree over there, I haven't tried over there. But yeah. I mean, you're not talking constantly and you have headphones on, so you're not gonna be bothering anybody over yeah, there. Sure. I wanted to stick with you though. Yeah, whatever you, you think. Go? I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling kind of like, you getting tired yet? A little bit. I'm You're ready for a for drink. A hours, right? Yeah, but I'm just feeling like I don't know where to go, you know? I feel like I'm pulling nothing but pencil erasers from in there. Have you tried, like, just the sidewalk area? I haven't tried on this side, but I tried the sidewalk strips on the other side. Huh. So, we could try over there. I don't know if there's, like, another... Try a frequency shift. Frequency shift? Whoa, I think. Are you getting it deep? I just, maybe you just jumped into a frequency I was in. I think you're good though. Oh. Yeah. I mean, I could probably hit hit it with one too. Here, I'll hit it again. The legend's trying to take out the Equinox. <laughs> nope, has got it in for Mine Lab. What's up, Blaine? This is good day, all yeah, glad. It's on a different one. Is it good now? I think it's good, yeah. All right, I'm on 13. <laughs> What's your legend sound like? It sounds quiet. Keep our eyes out for uh, in case some poor soul out here got buried with their legend. Have you so, tried out like in that big field? Out there? No, I haven't been out there at all. Try there? Yeah, let's meander over there. See if we got anything. I think yeah, I think it, it it could be. It could be. Might have to hit it a little harder. Yeah. Get through the pencil erasers for yeah. sure. Yeah, and then this anytime you get anywhere near a freaking fence. Oh, good I've luck. So many fence wires, <laughs> I, I hate the fence wire. Yeah, I, I think I found like a whole pocket full of good wires over by that baseball stuff. Seven, eight. I'll try this one real quick. There was even fence wires by the goalpost. I don't understand. I don't know why. Like, I wonder if there was fence there. I, it's probably just from that. I don't know. Found a little metal thing. <laughs> what is that from? Like a lanyard or something maybe yeah it's just junk <laughs> found one of these things which i think it's like a death rust now but i think it's one of those like oh, used to be bracelet. yeah but look how like it's like a razor blade now almost yeah those things are sharp <laughs> that'll cut you give you a case of tetanus I'm surprised you didn't cut your finger off. yeah honestly all right Let's try it out over there even through here, maybe. I know. What's up, David? <laughs> I'll follow behind you. They got a couple of these odd ones on the way over there. Oh, what's this? Ah. Oh. Pencil erasers are always so shiny, too. The pencil erasers are so shiny. Yeah, I know. They get you. They're cruel. <laughs> yeah, I guess let's just let's move over here for a bit. Twenty. Uh, yeah, it's how you know it's something good. It's right in the yep. 
When you get a signal under an anthill, it's guaranteed something sweet. <laughs> I just want to find like a ring. Is that too much to ask? It might be. It's a coin. <laughs> Julie says, we have a wild rabbit's nest behind our garage. Our lawn lady spotted it. Are you going to do anything about those little cotton balls, Julie? Or are you going to let them live out their lives back there? Little cotton ball fluffs. I always wanted. I don't even want to know what that is. <laughs> This place is tough. Pull tab. John says, blow away, sir. Do what you gotta do. <laughs> oh. Silver ring right here. 23. Silver ring or a twist top? Very likely in the favor of a twist top. Yeah. Come on. Like a little bit lower than a coin. Higher than like a penny. Please. Oh, it is, I think. Yep. It's an aluminum bottle cap. Call them the twist top bottle cap. They give you a high ringer, kind of like a coin. Are you talking aluminum? Yeah. The old aluminum bottle cap. Check for a second over here. This is too much for me, I think. <laughs> Listening for something different. Ooh. My goodness gracious, there's too much. There's one. Nice high one over here. Wow, the rare, huh? The elusive stuff. Think I might have battled this fence wire though. Oh yeah. That's a toasted quarter. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if she's really spendable anymore. Check out that bad boy. Check him out. <laughs> uh either old or just been through a lot. Oh dang. <laughs> That's a state's quarter, too. Yeah, he's been through a few things in his time. <laughs> and a couple lawnmowers. <laughs> Jeez. Poor little fella. I think it's at New York. New York. I know. There's too much over here. Even with the small coil, there's too much. 
Just listening for a high squeaker through here. All right. All right, yeah, let's I guess meander a bit. When you get on this one, I'll be that yeah, I'll check it out. This one should be quick. What do you? What's your legend reading on it right now? It's a little bouncy, but it's like between 16 and 20 something. Is it deep or kind of shallow? Two bars of that. I wonder if even the little coil on the Equinox will be able to reach it. That's not that deep. All right, I should have this one. It's a dime. Let's see. See what Brian's got over there. It sounds a little bit different. See what it sounds like with the Equinox. Sounds almost mixed iron with like a pencil eraser or something. You could try it. Or wait. It's giving me mostly iron. Yeah. It's up to you if you want to try it. Try it out. If it's interesting you, you know. What's this thing? Weird metal, I don't know. Pulse is not much jewelry though. Okay, spent the winter in St. Pete and pulled a thousand and five coins in three months. Nice. What's up, Diggin' Defined? Fickle Prick's in here too. It's all right, Fickle Prick. I was late too. <laughs> I'm always late to my own live stream. They need to put us on payroll out here, I think. We're just cleaning up junk at this point. Oh, what's that? Found something. That's why it sounded weird. I guess that's wire? I don't know. You got a big bolt under there? Kinda big. Yeah, sometimes the roundness of like the head of the bolt. Yeah. Some hardware. Twenty. One of us has got to pull out a ring, right? Come on. We got two times the chance. Penny. There ain't no. Sh I don't know. I don't think I've ever checked it up on like the old maps, but you might be able to see something out here. I mean, it could have been like old hunting ground or something if we found the shotgun head stamp. Only well, we found. Yeah, I just I don't know. Fence where? Coins kind of just spread throughout, though, so... <laughs> Something there. <laughs> Got a green coin. Just a memorial, though. What you got? He found a ring! The ring for a giant's finger. Huh. I don't know about that one. Just a piece of pipe or something. That sounded nice though. Not bad, not bad. Got a 1980 crusty coin. I got two big things now. <laughs> <laughs> to weigh you down, huh? Especially this one, man. This thing's so good. That thing is. I mean, literally, like, in the price. Yeah, the price of, like, brass or copper scrap, if you actually kept stuff like that, it's probably, like, 
at least a quarter, I would think, you know, and scrap. <laughs> I would think. I don't know. <laughs> I think I'm getting tired of the low conductives out here. Yeah, I know. I'm probably about there. <laughs> I got just something small, yeah. It's an old Milwaukee can, or what's going on here? Check it out in some ant piles. That's how you know you're working with something sweet or not. Twist stop bottle cap. Dr. Pepper. Okay. See somebody rolling their eyes at me. Julie. Julie saying hello to all that just. <laughs> ham radio says dig it all. I'm trying ham. There's just so much. Steel plate. <laughs> yeah. Just give us something out here. There's more of these aluminum bottle caps over here. It's a seven up one, yeah. I guess maybe this was like old concession area or something, or no? Maybe this is just like a little shop? I have no idea. I have no idea either. Maybe they just keep their like lawn equipment in there or something. Maybe they just keep what? Like lawn equipment or something? I don't know. I don't know what it is. There's so much junk. I feel like at this area there's actually too much to dig at all. There's just too much junk. Let's see what this 17, oh yeah, like there's just trash all over the ground right here. Big old long piece of that fence wire. I see can on top of the ground, pencils. <laughs> I think this is more of a cherry pick kind of area. Pull tab right there. Kind of checking out this different spot for at least a couple minutes. Haven't been over here before. A lot of stuff just right on top, which I guess isn't the best. Yep, piece of can slaw. Hmm. Uh, I found the back to a pin. I always find these things. Yep, it's the backing to like a hat pin, you know. Pretty much some junk, I guess. The essence of jewelry potential. Potentially. Some hard stuff to dig. Oh. <laughs> there could have been a building there, you never know. Pull tab. Oh. So many coin signals over here. It's a really good high one right there.
No way, is that it? Is that the curse of the Equinox? Is it a nail? <laughs> Let's get back up on that one, see if that's what it actually was. Uh-oh, that one sounded sweet. A nail? That wasn't it. That was not it. Don't discount the Equinox just yet. Instead, it's this. What the heck? Oh, what is that? Found something weird. It's a meter. <laughs> what? Why does it gotta be a pain? No, it ain't good. It's weird. No, I don't. This wasn't worth the walk. I don't think this would worth the walk. Look at that bad boy. <laughs> I think it's like a. It's not a electrical meter. Yeah, thing. meter. <laughs> I got a big metal. I don't know. Got the old Milwaukee down there. <laughs> yeah, it's a pain. All right, weird piece of metal. Wasn't a coin. Oh! <laughs> Beautiful! There's so many beeps over here. I feel like I have to escape this area. What do you guys think? Leave? Leave this area with my ankle still intact or what? Cameron says I like it. What's up, Cameron? Aluminum roofing nail says fickle prick. Is there a coin around here? There's a lot of pencil erasers. I would like just x-ray vision for like, give me x-ray vision for like 10 minutes. <laughs> just let me see what's actually under here. Let me visualize what I'm up against out here. Oh my gosh, there's so many I don't think this is a good area to check. <laughs> there's too much junk. Another way I like, I feel like if I'm not getting coin signals too, then it's literally gonna be just all junk. Might be a coin signal. Nope. Not a coin signal. Gopher says there's a Florida plate in front of us. You out on the road, Gopher? At this point, I'm just listening for a high one. There's so many beeps out here that I'm really gonna find nothing but trash if I dig everything. Got a high one or something over here? It was kinda high, like 40, low 40s though, so it's kinda mid to Yeah. But it's in the clump. It's in the clump? <laughs> it might be something sweet, like a zinc. At least if there's a zinc out here. Yeah, I've never checked out here in the middle of the field. <laughs> a piece of a penny? <laughs> the essence of a penny? You're probably right. Roman coin? What do you think? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. It's a chunk of something. I'm not sure if it's a coin or it's a little thick, I don't know. 
Yeah, something different maybe. I don't think it's a zinc penny, but I don't know. Is it a Spanish doubloon? <laughs> oh man. All right, I might even just hop back into the field for a couple more minutes, I don't know. Or actually, I think I'm gonna go by like the sidewalk strips or something for a minute. I mean, maybe I'll try this area again, but... Yeah, we could, I've never tried over here, never. Try for a minute, yeah, let's try for a minute. Whew. We're all right in the middle. <laughs> I mean, once in a while, like, areas like this could potentially hold, like, you know, festivals or something where they put up little tents and whatnot, where they could sell stuff. I don't know if they actually do out here. Hi, Ringa. Looks like there's almost baseball clay or something. What the heck is that? Huh. I don't know, something weird. I don't know what it is. It's like a knob or something or a drawer pull. I don't know what that is. You guys know? A hook or something? Weird. Todd's asking, why are you using that small coil? I was hunting like in extreme trash earlier and that's the biggest uh, reason. Right now I'm kind of in an open field. Small coil is probably not my first choice for this area. But yeah, like Fickle Prick says, a little bit easier on the trash. Let's give it a try out here for just a minute. Potential coin, eh? It's yeah, it's definitely a lot different. Yeah, I noticed that too, right? Like maybe old baseball or something? Never know. I have no idea. <laughs> A strip of metal. Alrighty then. Cameron says, I have a 1936 park by my house. That's pretty cool, Cameron. Give me one coin out here, I'll be happy. What's that way out there? Is that a ball maybe or a turtle? Uh, soccer ball. Soccer ball. I don't. Know. Here, let me go over it real quick. <laughs> you were just slightly off, maybe. Yep. Right around in yonder. Sound like a coin to me. Oh. Sounds pretty similar to what you just had. Never know about an area until you actually get out there and check it out, I guess. Yeah, this clay though is weird. Like maybe, I don't know. Maybe this was an old baseball field or something, you know?
come on, I know I'm close to it. All right, there it is. <laughs> right? It's a penny. Maybe the clay's throwing off our signals. Green one, eh? Kind of green it. 1980. Okay, okay. 1980. I got one, two. What do we got? Oh, wee. 1977. <laughs> got you three years on that one. You beat me, huh? <laughs> I don't know, maybe the newer coin wins. It's got a little bit of life left in it. Huh. Yeah, I feel like since I'm not getting as many signals in here, I would be better off with the bigger coil. You know, it's not really as trashy through, through here. Looks like somebody's dog's been out here. That ain't our holes. Feeling better than that. Yeah, it seems like out here is kind of clean, which might be better though. If there's not as much trash, that doesn't mean that there ain't no treasure out here, it just means there might be less trash. Nope. No matter where you go, they will always follow you. Another piece of fence wire for you. Ow, there's sandspurs out here too. <laughs> I always hated sandspurs, man. As a Floridian, the sandspurs, they're not my friend. It's a weird nail. Huh. Might be actually like an aluminum nail. A weird nail, you said? Yeah, I think it's an aluminum nail. Huh. Yeah, kind of weird. Pull tab, eh? Oh, the tongue. Yeah. Lucky now, huh? I forget, what, isn't that what that's called? I don't know. Probably something. Like the thing that pops out. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Hooray. Oh, that is a weird one. Right? Kind of oh. weird. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Oh, the pull tabs. Some concrete or something over here. Some shell. There we go. Out in the middle of the field, eh? 29? Ow! Yeah, be careful out here though. There's sandspurs in this part of the field. Sandspurs. I just kneeled right on one. Where'd my signal just go? I know I just had it. This was a good one. There we go. State quarter. You got a state quarter? <laughs> yeah. Hey, what's your getting some coins out here now? Yeah, weird why it would be way out here, but just never know what areas are used, I guess. Core tire. Is that good on the legend? I don't know. Let's see what I see. 18 on the Equinox. Close to the top. Try it. Um, it could be, I guess. Maybe a little bit higher than a pull tab. Maybe like a fence wire or something. Crusty. Crusty penny, maybe, or something. That's why. 
Was it fence wire? <laughs> Dang it. That's just cruel. Got a pull tab too. Not more pull tabs. We gotta make our way out to Clearwater sometime. I know, I know. <laughs> I'm like dying to get to the sandbar. Oh, the sandbar out there? Yeah. Can you walk out to it? Well, you kind of have to like swim, sort of. Yeah. <laughs> hey, maybe. Yeah. Hey, if you can get to it, that's probably not a bad idea. If you go at low tide, it'd be maybe more accessible. Huh. Cameron says, what number do I look for metal detectors? Hmm, anybody got any tips for Cameron? Yeah, Fickle Prick's kind of giving him some tips. Yeah. Some more of these like older pull tabs over here. I'm kind of just trying like a slightly different area, but I'm not really that hopeful for this spot. Just an area that I've never checked out before, you know? So it could be worth investigating. Never discount an area till you try it at least once, right? High one there. Ooh. Ow. Something just stabbed me. Got something? Ah. Yeah. Ugh. 1978 coin. Still pulling out the coins. The coins are coming, but not the jewelry. The jewelry is eluding us. The jewelry is elusive. Yeah, it's like one of those things where after hunting like an area for a while and digging up kind of the same set of target IDs, I guess there is a little bit of like, you start to get like a little bit discouraged when it comes to certain numbers, I guess. You know, I can, I can feel myself being a little bit more picky than I usually am, which I guess could be possibly a benefit or a curse. My pickiness could prevent me from digging up the same trash over and over, but it could also, you know, make me miss something potentially good. So it's always kind of a hit or miss. Sometimes you get in your own mind, I feel like, and you like, you know, you're just not really sure exactly what you should be going for at a certain point. Like, what's the best, um... Thing to go for to have actually success of some variety. I'm still pulling coins a little bit. Coins are coming out. Woo! 
Ooh, what you guys saying in here? Let's catch up with you guys. I've been neglecting you for a moment or two. What's up, Wayne? Did I say hey to you, Wayne, already? Nice to see you, Wayne. Uh, Cameron says I had an Ace 400. The Garrett Ace, the Ace series is actually kind of good, man. It's kind of a good machine. Been around the block for a while. Uh-oh, Julie deleted Blaine out. Hopefully Blaine's all right. What's up, Greg? I am in uh, Park 1 multi-frequency. That's the mo mode that I'm in. What's up, Snipe? Almost missed you, Snipe. Did I miss anybody else? P Hunt, nice to see you, P. He says, nice to see you out and about. I choose to go fishing today rather than detecting. Hey, fishing is a great hobby too. Between my son and I, we brought home 29 crappie. Heck yeah, what's up, Roland? All right, are we caught up? Molo, what's up? This is hello from Hawaii. Hello from Hawaii. What's going on from Florida? got some sun in the skies today let me show you guys real quick we got some sunshine shining in the sky a little bit of blue skies <laughs> put you back in your harness get back over here Todd's asking do you know where in your partner's legend is set at um little bit of clarity on that question and I might be able to help. Ooh. Yeah, for some of these shallow uh, signals, you don't really have to dig like a whole plug. You can almost just kind of pop them out, I feel. Depends on the grass type though. Like this patchy grass, it's easier to do. Uh, Molo's got rain, can't go out hunting today. Hopefully the rain clears up for you. This one's an 11. The 11 seem to be all pencil erasers. <laughs> Thirteen, pretty close to the top. I don't know, maybe the jewelry isn't just really that plentiful at this area. Either that or maybe the trash is just kind of exceeding the numbers. That's a nickel it looks like. The nickels keep me hopeful. <laughs> Continuing to find some of those Jefferson nickels, you know? Who's that? Jordy says, is this still live? You bet your bottom it is. Snipe says, I sold my Legend because the XP Deus 2 and Manticore have been in the only machines I use. So the Legend was just so collecting dust. Hey, that's, you know, sometimes how it be, you know? Keep the machines that you use the most and get rid of the ones that are just hanging on the shelf. fellas we've given it a fair shot today I've been live for it appears 170 minutes 
So kind of close to three hours, I would say. You know, the hunt, it wasn't filled with Spanish doubloons and golden rings, but we came out here and we gave it a shot, and I think that's kind of what counts, right? You gotta be out there swinging your metal detector if you want a chance to find anything. Location does matter. It's probably a good idea to get on a slightly better location than this, but even a location like this can produce, you know, if you work it enough. Just gotta swing over there at the right spot, decide to dig it up, you know what I mean? So... Jordy says, good hunting from Denmark. I appreciate you, Jordy. Let's try to find one more decent signal, hey? Maybe one or two more. I'm just closing in. I'm probably about ready to get something to drink, honestly. It's getting pretty toasty out here. I don't want to force myself to find something good, right? We gotta just kind of put in our best effort. A lot of these 18s I've been kind of discriminating out because it seems like most of them have been that fence wire today. That one could have been a nice ring though. It's the kind of the thing about discriminating signals, right? It's a big one. Yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy your day though. Hopefully you got some plans for this nice, beautiful Sunday. <laughs> Might be raining where you guys are though, so hang in there. The weather will clear up, I'm sure of it. You'll have some nice days ahead. Yeah, I think for out here in this field though, I, I kind of want a slightly bigger coil too. I think I'm at a slight disadvantage with a tiny coil in an open environment like this. Maybe if we come back to this field, we'll use a bigger coil. Yeah, if you guys made it to the end of the video, though, I would appreciate a thumbs up on it. It is free, after all. Only if you guys enjoyed the video, of course. Ugh. Brian and I gave it our best shot. <laughs> I found a little piece of jewelry, I think was that, that like, pin, right? I found that pin and then that, uh, charm like earlier in the hunt. So I guess we can say we got two pieces of jewelry. <laughs> they weren't too special, but got a little bit of jewels, I guess, eh? But yeah, thanks for uh, coming out with me. Thanks for hanging with me. Hopefully you guys enjoyed your stay. Uh, Austin Powers, the metal detector, the movie, two hour stream. <laughs> We'll see you later, Gopher. Snipe says, Austin, if you have TikTok, check me out tonight at 7. I'll be live detecting at night. I don't actually have TikTok, but maybe one day I might get into it. I don't know. But I wish you luck regardless, Snipe. I wish you luck out there. Hopefully you have a good day, dude. Hopefully everyone out there stay positive in these crazy times, right? You gotta stay positive, man. You've gotta stay optimistic. It's the only way. It's all we can do. <laughs> it's really all we can do. Come on, give us another sweet one. Let's end it off on a gold doubloon. End it off on a gold doubloon. Nothing out here with this little six inch coil. Yeah, James, you're absolutely right. It says, gotta carry your drink with you. I've had heat stroke twice now. I get it, super quick, not cool, yeah. Gotta be careful with that for sure. Thanks for stopping by, Jordy. Nice to see you, Blaine. Woo! The beach ain't safe from us. I'll tell you that right now, the beach ain't safe. Alright, here it is. What do we got? There it is. It's actually not a pencil eraser. It's not any better, but it's not any worse. It's a piece of the can. <laughs> Hopefully you guys can appreciate the uh, little bit of integrity that I got on here, you know, at this channel. And sometimes I feel the need to apologize that we didn't find the gold bar or the gold doubloon. But I think a lot of you guys realize this is the reality of metal detecting. and. 
it's just not always the case, you know? <laughs> Can't always find the gold doubloon and the gold ring. You can only give it your best shot. So, thanks for hanging out with me, you guys. I appreciate you. Have a good day, guys. See you later, tinfoil. See you later, DJ. I'll catch you again soon, Cameron. Good luck at the old park you got. And, uh, yep, DJ too. Thanks for hanging, man. We'll see you later, Toby. Toby was in here earlier. Molo, Fickle Prick, Gopher, Todd. <laughs> we'll see you later, guys. Thanks for hanging.